Oh, oil. So? What are you doing? Uh, taking readings. For? So? For? So, who are you on my phone? I'm in the building. Oh, what is this building? It doesn't matter what, what's you, what are you doing. I'm taking readings in the area. Oh. I'm just on an internal basis, my friend. So, you, can you please be on that I don't know. I, I, it says Guildhall. Is that right? Yes. Well, Council yeah. Guildhall? No. Who is it? Can you leave the property, please? Well, I'm on a public pavement now. But you're not that that's fine, I can take the reading from there. That's not a problem. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's fine. There's no, no need to be hostile, sir. I'm just, I'm just you, you just property, well, it's all it's, it's open. I didn't cross no barriers. Well, wherever there's public access, it's, it's, a, it's a civil matter. You know, I'm not causing a problem for you, but I'm just, I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying, yeah. you know, it, it doesn't even say it. You know, how am I supposed to know? Okay. Is it part of the brewery? So it's owned by the brewery? Okay. So it would take the owner of the company to ask me to leave? You don't have the authority to tell me? I do. You don't? Okay. I'm not going to head to it. Pardon? No problem. Please don't. Well, I might choose not to. I might walk over. <laughs> he needs the owner to tell me to leave. I'm doing readings in the area, sir. Whoa! Absolute crazy this. So this is the problem with the big companies guys. They buy everything up, which obviously used to be the guild hall. And you're on a public footpath here. Right up to them barriers is where we can go really. Absolute crazy, isn't it? Anyway, we're not even here for that. I just wanted to find out what the place was. So if anybody with any criticisms, guys, that's just really how easy it goes. You know. Really easy. Of course. Here we go guys, welcome to Coors. Well guys, here we are at course in Burton on Trent. Still here with a bullshit mate guys. How are you? No, thank you. What are you can I just ask what you're doing? Uh, sorry, I get strong readings. 
Sorry? Strong readings. Strong readings of what exactly? Oh, sorry, it's just on a need to know basis. Sorry? Just on a need to know basis. Okay, but I've heard that you're putting it through onto our premises, so that you've been putting your hand through onto our premises. So yeah. I'm quite interested to know what you're doing because that has obviously impacted our premises. So. Oh, yeah, it's just on a need to know basis, my friend. I'm not coming in. <laughs> so. Just taking readings, you know. Is it sound readings? Is it. Like, like I say, it's just, sorry, it's just on a need to know. Okay. Okay, my friend. Right, well, if you can just, like, not put your hands through the railings then. And, oh, yeah, uh, I can do. Yeah? Yeah, I can do. Look. No, I said, can you not? I can do that. Yeah, well, I'm asking you not to, please. Ah, uh, sorry, I have to politely decline, my friend. Well, if you're politely declining, I'd like to know who you're working for, what it's to do with. I'm sorry, it's just on a need-to-know basis. <laughs> <laughs> you can't ask, that's, that's an unreasonable quest, request, my friend. Well, I don't... <laughs> You put you you put the you put the railings there so I can't walk through it. So what if I do this well, and scratch me ear? No. <laughs> you could. It's the same thing, my friend. Well, Come on. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just interested to know what you what you're doing. You're just well. nosy, aren't you? Really? Well, not really. No, because I'm responsible for the premises here. So. Well, it's not an offensive weapon or anything like that, my friend. It's well, just uh, readings, you know. Yeah. I know what readings it was. Sorry. I was interested to know what readings they were for though. Oh, it's carbon data. Carbon data? Yeah. Right, okay, perfect. That's all. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. I should have told you from the start, really. Yeah, well, that's, that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> are, you happy, are you happy with yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, that's fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so oh, fine. thank you very much. Okay, my friend. Yeah. Is it something to do with sustainability that you're doing? Yes, yeah, so I might educate you today. Did you know that? Have you got many electric vehicles on the site? Uh, we've got a number of them, yeah. And do you think it's... Have you bought into the fact that that's zero emissions? Yes. You have? What if I tell you that... Well, sorry, okay, so you're asking me personally? You're asking Just me personally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, so, because obviously I understand electric vehicles, I used to work... For, yeah, yeah. Uh, I used to work in the industry, so... Yeah. The electric vehicles, so yeah, I understand the fact that it's a... Um, that they take a lot to manufacture electric vehicles. Well, uh, and actually, I'm on about the running of, running of a vehicle, so... Yeah. Did you know that 20% of the particulates came, coming, coming off an electric vehicle yeah. comes from the brake dust off the pads? Where the, emi the emission. Yeah, well, the emissions off a normal car only emit 7% of the pollution. Whereas, um, sorry, if you combine that with a, 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 an engine and the brakes, yeah. there's 27% there. But basically, the car, if it's running off conventional brake pads, it, it gives off more um, particulates in the air than you would if, you know, um, in regards to the fuel, you know. Okay. So every car does that, by the yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's, it's not net zero. Yeah. I just. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's cool. No, All right, my good. friend. So, thank yeah. you very much. You have a nice day, my friend. So there you go guys, a bit of free education there. And that's true is that. Brake dust off your brake pads gives out more to the air pollution than your fuel emissions. How crazy is that?